Welcome back. Let's see how we can bring in the Genesis figure into our empty viewport and navigate around it to get a little bit of practice and see how this works. So smart content is really the heart and soul of DAS Studio and the DAS content marketplace. From here, you're going to bring in anything from figures, wardrobe, props, whole environments, lighting, anything and everything lives in the smart content. And this is currently organized by products up here. There's another tab up here that's files. That is another view of all your products that are currently installed. I'm going to go back to products here. So make sure you're on smart content and products and then head over to figures here. This is essentially a list of all types of content that you have. You can navigate this with your scroll wheel and I'm going to go and scroll down until I find the purple Genesis 9 starter essentials. If this is scrolling a little bit too fast for you, hold down the shift key and then that'll scroll this a little bit slower. Double click the Genesis 9 starter essentials. They come for free with DAS Studio and load in the Genesis 9 figure here. This is also on the figures tab here. Double click this one here, not the def load. It's this one here. Double click that. It takes a second and then we'll see a gray androgynous figure in our viewport. Here they are. That is Genesis 9. Say hello. This looks very neutral, but in regards to geometry, this is the base. This is the genesis, essentially, of any custom character. So custom characters are essentially shapes that are applied to this figure. So we can make the biceps bigger. We can make the head rounder. We can turn it into a man or a woman or a monster, a pretty princess, anything and everything. And this is done with sophisticated technology and lots and lots of sliders under the hood. We're looking at those in other videos. But for now, let's just look at the gray guy and see how we can navigate around the viewport and look at the figure from all angles. You see this cube up here that shows us the Cartesian coordinates. Blue means we're looking at it from the front. And if you left click and drag on this cube, you can rotate around the figure. So now we're looking from the left as the cube shows. If I go and scroll this down, I'm looking at it from the top. And if I go further to the back, I'm looking at it from the back. So this is a nice way of orienting yourself and saying, hey, how am I actually looking at this window into the 3D world? It's the same as using this little round arrow here. Left click and drag that and it'll also do the same thing, albeit without the descriptions on it. The second icon down here is the pan icon. Left click and drag that and you can go left and right or up and down to position both your perspective view here or your camera if you'd had one. The third icon down here, that's the dolly icon. We're essentially changing our position between the figure and our camera, so to say. So this is now us being closer to the figure. This is now us being further away. You can also do this by scrolling the mouse wheel. Just hover in the viewport anywhere and just scroll your mouse wheel. That'll do the same thing. And if you want to focus in on the selected object in your scene, that's where this little square icon comes in. It's the focus key that you might know from other applications. In DAS Studio, the shortcut key for that is Control F if you're used to that. There's also a way to navigate the scene with keyboard shortcuts, and that's what I tend to do. I don't tend to click on these things because I'm busy clicking elsewhere. So it's Control and Alt held down and then left click and drag anywhere in the viewport to rotate. Control and Alt and right clicking anywhere in the scene to pan around. This can also be customized, but we're not talking about that in this short course. Familiarize yourself with these viewport controls because you're going to use them an awful lot in DAS Studio and in fact in every 3D application. And pause the video here, get caught up with me, practice a little bit, and I will see you in the next part.